Alrighty guys, welcome back to Mad Science. We're all grouped over here. Uh, Will is doing some sort of... I don't really know what. Sounds like a headache. It's a headache. Train things. It's it's just a... Uh, yeah. We'll, Train we'll things. Okay, ahead. we'll come to it later. So, uh, most of you probably already watched the update announcement video. Um, this is the last stream we're doing this, so there'll probably be this episode and maybe one more, maybe, maybe two more. Um, if we can think of enough stuff to do, but... First off, I need to add points and pray that that doesn't bring us oh. so low that we won't be able to finish this stream. Um, we were actually supposed to get to like 98% before we started, but I don't think we had time. You just you just can't get the workforce these yeah, days. seriously. I mean, it's not like we're paying them plenty. But... Yeah, I mean... Alright. Please, no. Fuck. Oh no. What? Which one are you? <laughs> Stop watching videos! What's wrong with you guys? You have a problem. <laughs> Bad viewers. <laughs> more points. Go, go, go. Do we need to uh, outfit Ducky with some more weaponry? <laughs> oh. Oh, so you were opposed to War Ducky. Now I'm you want to. I'm opposed <laughs> to doing it to Ducky, but since he's already been like massacred and made robotic we might as well just go full on <laughs> well he's actually backed up oh no he's, not, he's out of iron and coal. give him more materials mm -hmm. where does it actually get coal from um coal to damn oh coal three <laughs> <laughs> what call three? I think we've got some outposting to do. Yeah. Damn really? Hopewell. I wish he'd made... I mean, to be fair, I didn't ask him to, but I wish he'd made the uh, science pack values uh, a mod settings thing. Because then we could just... Oh, yeah, instead of magic numbers. Well, no, they aren't magic. I mean, they're numbers that were come up with and discussed. The problem is, is you can't change them on the fly. You have to edit the config file. Yeah, they're well, actually magic want to change them, though. Why would I want to? Yeah, because if you change, you can't change the science pack value now. That that would be properly, properly cheap. Well, I think that ship sailed. <laughs> we can't do it anyway, <laughs> but yeah, maybe you should catch the YouTube up on our, where we are in the technology. Because look what oh, we're yeah. doing now. So, um, if it were even possible, <laughs> we could have over six hundred and eighty. Uh, Combat robots following us around. That would be yeah, nice. Yeah, but we can't even throw them fast enough <laughs> to do that. No. Maybe get some sort of catapult. Yeah, maybe just throw them in batches. Yeah. Extern set point zero. Just get a stack insert to start, you know, put a stack insert in our backpack and just start mm -hmm. lobbing them. <laughs> <laughs> just throw them like marbles. Grape shot them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, uh, oh, see, I mean, I think, well, actually, that's a fair point. You know, I should have pointed that out in the announcement video. I wish I had what Psycho Boy said. So, TLDR, y'all AFK watched the video, so they AFK generated science. Exactly. Like, yep. come on, guys. I know, I know some of you just had like 10 tabs open watching it or just left the playlist on overnight. I think we're entitled to do the same. <laughs> I, I did have a, a solution. I mean, except he wasn't keen on it for his upload, but what you've missed is <laughs> yeah, what we could have done. <laughs> yeah, you'll love this. <laughs> right. Yeah, this, this is great, right? So what you've essentially missed, p picture this, a video gets uploaded at the regular slot. You're like, oh, cool. Oh, you know, it's my lunch break. I'll watch the <laughs> half hour or so math science video today no it's a, a 15 hour video of exterminated character sat in a train going around and around and around on a loop for 15 hours that's essentially what you've missed yep because that's what we would have done there isn't you look at the 10 hour graph and then filter it for space science packs uh 10 hour yeah it's bit yeah it, we've been some higher spikes from the line because they've done faster researches. 
and it's dropped three times, and I'm told that that's because someone forgot to change the research. Other than that, that is a dead straight line, like especially in the mm-hmm. middle there. Absolutely solid flat for 10 hours. Yeah, exactly. There's been nothing to fix. Yeah, there's... Just touch over. Exactly. I mean, that's, like, that's the thing, right? Is it's That's one of the problems with series or gameplay like this in general is once you're done, there's, like, nothing to do. But at the same time, that's why we kind of need to end it because there, there isn't any recordable footage left. No. I mean, just also, if anyone's wondering, this what I'm building has nothing to do with this series. This is just a, an idea that I wanted to sketch out. And I'm doing it because I have to be here on this map, so I'm doing it here. <laughs> so this is nothing for the map that you've missed or nothing. This is literally just me plonking around some track for an yep. idea. So, um, jeez, I don't understand. Wow. I didn't think, did I like, wow. <laughs> I didn't think it would add that much. What? <laughs> I- I'm a little bit <laughs> taken aback and frustrated because, well, We'll figure something out. You're, you're going to get hungry before we finish. I'm already right? hungry. Long before we finish. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was something else. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess we could. Did you? I, the, people wanted to see the trash system. I don't know if we want to do that this episode. Mojo, if you wanted to do another one. I'm on my way back. You're on your way back. Next Maybe one. next one. I've got a few All things right. to do. So, um, we are on Robot Speed 17. We're on Mining Productivity 200. Insane follower count. <laughs> <laughs> follower count's great because it's 30 second research and it uses the most expensive science. Because it includes all of... It's the only one that uses all of the packs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it would be tempting... And it, it, to up War Ducky, hmm? if if we have the resources to supply it. Well, if if we uh, copper's the issue, I think. Someone said there's a huge queue for copper. I can sort of do it. Mm. There's a huge queue of trains waiting to pick up copper, so I'm not entirely sold. Oh yeah, that. now that I look. Although. Um... In saying that, it's probably just uh, I. Th- this smelter has always had trouble with um, trains going through quick enough. Mm, yeah. I upgraded copper to be 120k um, a minute. Well, the problem is though, is you can't just add smelters to something like this because. No, if you actually look at the second melter, you'll see the corner smelters are not actually running. Which second from the top? Or second from the top. top. Yeah, actually. Well, no, that's because they're full on output, but that's because the trains can't load or carry enough. Yeah. Does, the... does it have double loading? Sort of. No, it has one and a bit. That's the problem. It needs the refit like we did to iron. No, dude. That the pro- it, Look how fast this loads anyways. Like... The problem is the trains can't get in and out quick enough. Like, not, I mean, obviously the loading helps, but they literally, because one has to wait in the stacker and then come all the way down here, and by the time it gets there, the furnace is turned off. What is Will doing? I don't know. What What is this idea for? Okay, so I've been uh, playing Train Simulator um, for the last couple of days. Mm-hmm. And um, it's actually inspired, not my next playthrough, because I'm doing the subathon next week, but that should only last about a yeah. week. <laughs> Won't it? This should have only lasted about half the time it did, but go on. <laughs> well, the last one was meant to take one day, and it took a week. So this one will last a week. We're on the chat. <laughs> you exterminator, stay away. You're not allowed to watch. You you ruined it last time. <laughs> so, uh, but after that, 
I'm going to, I mean, you're, you're welcome to join if you want, but I'm going to be doing a series called uh, Factorio Train Set. So what it is, it's not going to be any big numbers at all. You know, I maybe like 10,000 iron a minute, really, really small. It's going to be sort of a ribbon world, but it's going to be quite a wide one, but it is going to be limited in one direction just to focus me in, you know, one direction. And what I'm going to do is have uh, separated bases like we do now, but pretty much everything is going to be done around realism rather than uh, train factorial efficiency. So I've been playing Train Simulator with Mojo and Hoffney. Uh, not, obviously, it's not multiplayer, but we've just played scenarios and chat at the same time. And every time I come to a train yard or something in it, and it's all based on real life tracks and stuff. And I look at it, I was like, oh, that looks so cool. I want that in Factorio. Mm -hmm. so... Oh my God, you get so excited. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's like yeah, five kid year old. in the candy shop. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, oh, look at this yard. Oh, look, there's stackers over here. Look, guys, there's a stacker. And, and what, what was it last night? I got really um, excited because there was a, a bit like this. So if, this is the locomotive. Mm hmm. What it did to turn, I mean, it was a double headed in a sense locomotive anyway. So, two locos, one facing each way. Right. And it went into here, and it, I was actually told to do that as part of the objective. And this state, this bit of track where I'm in now was actually called a shunt. That was the actual name that the game gave it. And I was like, but that's what yeah. we call them. <laughs> so, and it was used to get from one end of the loco, from one end of the wagons to the okay. other. Okay. Interesting. So, so you can jump around. So I want to use... I'm going to run the trains on coal so that they run a bit slower. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also going to use the track speed limit mod. I want to play around with that so I can slow the trains down as they come into the yard There's and stuff. For that. And you can have fast and slow main lines. Fast and slow main lines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even know um, there was a mod that did that. Yeah, I need a mod spotlight done on it, please. I need to know well, how to work so, it. So, what's it called? Like train speed mod? Something like that. Chat, the Twitch chat. Find, find mod. Go. Give. All right. Yeah. So you're gonna do that, and then. Yeah, I'm also gonna try and play around with the decoupler mm. mod and see what can be done with that because I would love the idea of like because in in train simulator you often see just like like I've got here just like sets to wagons just abandoned essentially. By their locomotives, right? And um, I want to run the map if I can with less locomotives than there are train things. So, picture if this was a facility of some sort, say I don't know, Green Science, mm -hmm. whatever. A train, a, locom a set of locomotives drops up, loads, sorry, drops off like a whole bunch of gears, but they're not needed yet because the production is so low. And they don't unload at this thing. The the, whack, the locomotives just detach, and then leave the uh, wagons here, and then they go off and do something else, like takes maybe hook on to some empties and take them away, and they go and get more copper or whatever. And it's all programmed with the circuit network and stuff, and you have like less locomotives just trundling up and down, right. and leaving leaving wagons in sidings. And it would all run quite slowly, you know, it, it wouldn't be massive throughput. It would more just be a resource sink to give the train something to do. And it would just be a train set along this really, because really, the map would be limited, long railway line. Like, probably in our height, like top to bottom of our map, maybe more. And about how tall? Would the, like, how, what would it be limited the other way? Well, um... I don't know. Let's uh, so put you see our iron smelter. Mm -hmm. um, maybe from where the steel stacker starts to the iron plate stacker starts. That sort of okay. Yeah. So enough to actually right. do stuff and turn off the main line a bit and then go up to a facility. Mm -hmm. 
but generally you're focused in the direction that's infinite. And it would be more, it's more artistic than right. efficient. And that gets, hopefully, will get me away from this late game, you know, sat here AFKing. Right. Because it will need a lot of tinkering to get it working and a lot of riding up and down the line. <laughs> yeah. So that sounds pretty cool. So would it also be kind of like a, more like a towns type of thing where like, even before, like, where, where, where things are actually made in separate areas, even in, like, even before late game, or... Um, I, I might even just skip early game. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> because it's it's not going to be about early game. My sub map is a week of early game, because we won't get to late game. It'll just be dragging early game faster and faster. This would be about just creating something more than... Um... Right. That sounds yeah. pretty cool. I'd be um, I'd be interested in hearing in the comments of this video what people think of that. If it'd be something you guys would want to see. Um, and I'm looking here. Well, it looks like there's actually two different train speed limitation mods that work in two different ways. One of them hmm. limits it by the track type, and the other one limits it by, uh, like, signs that you place. I'm thinking the signs okay. would be yeah. easier to manage. Probably. Because we can change. And I, if you can just literally open a, sign, open a sign GUI or whatever and change the limit, we can then adjust on the fly. Yeah, I'd also like to, because I see a lot in train simulator, like trains going the other way, mixed cargo trains. Because mm -hmm. I would really like to do some really, really mixed cargo trains. So you'd have like um, something that's really low throughput engines and, or something. It has like one tank of lubricant, a tank of uh, pipe, a uh, wagon of pipes, and a wagon mm -hmm. of plate. And somehow that mixed train gets either assembled or loaded and then this mixed train trundles along and takes everything it needs in one train rather than what we do now of having a train of everything what you could do is have a build which has like a little yard and it um as it fills up the each wagon it shunts it out into the yard yeah or collection of wagons and then a bigger train comes along and then collects it as it right. goes down I mean, it'd be a lot of it would be um, circuit network controlled. Hopefully, if that can be done with a couple of mod. I need a I need a mod spotlight done on that one as the well. Coupler, please. yeah. Um, good luck with that. I've been avoiding doing that. That nope, got peer pressure now. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, if you're gonna do that, I mean, if you're going, what I'm not that. If you're gonna do so this type of series, I'm wondering, would you be interested in the... Well, I guess that would maybe be less realistic, I'm not sure. The um, automatic train deployment mod? I'm not sure if that would make um, it more or less realistic. Maybe. Yeah, it's kind of a hard... I mean, because it kind of implements more of like uh, a yard, like train construction area but on the, at the same time trains don't really just appear <laughs> in real life <laughs> no, but you do yeah but we do they a lot of times you'll go past like an engine shed and stuff mm -hmm. uh, be your magic man around i'll think about it because i would like the idea of everything's there on the line Well, it, it kind of, it deploys them, like, on a as-needed bait, like, you you tell it to do it, and it creates the train, like, on the spot. Yeah, I've seen yeah. the, the gif of it. Um, I 
Maybe not. I... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of on the line a little bit. Yeah. But, I mean, now the guys have made this all walled and bricked and stuff, does that look... It looks pretty cool to me. So what I'm going to jump in the train. I've got the locomotives um, facing mm -hmm. each other. So I can uh, decouple better. So what you do is you go through... If I was going to take these lower wagons down the... I can't drive. <laughs> there we go. So we go through this, because it gets you to... I've done this quite a lot in Train Simulator. We're doing it in overhead view. I'm used to my mm -hmm. cab view. Please don't put me in automatic. It's hard enough to drive as it is. Yeah. Where are you going? I don't know. I can't steer this thing. No! Help! <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I, I'm, I'm as bad in train simulator. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no you're missing a turn. I'm trying. <sighs> so yeah, this would all be done on. Um, so with this, on automatic, would, obviously. Okay, so how would it be? You would need then like stations, or is that how the coupling mod would work then? I don't know. I'd have to look at, into okay. it. Yeah, I, I see what you mean, though. Yeah. So we, it appears that we're single-headed, mm. which we are, in a way, but we're also double-headed because we have a locomotive facing each right, way. Right, it's just in the front only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that way we can... Because this is how... Oh, for God's sake. This is impossible. you got two people in at once. I know. They apparently fixed that. So there we go. I'm off down the main right. line now. Nope. Didn't turn. If this could be done automatic, though, I think it'd be really cool. Yeah, and the trains would move slow through the yard mm -hmm. here. No, 